Assalamu alaikum dear friends and students. Today we will discuss the solution of assignment 3 based on the concepts of index of hydrogen deficiency and isomerism. So let us begin. And the first question of this assignment was write the index of hydrogen deficiency which is also called IHT in short of the following molecules. Four molecules were given and we were asked to write their IHD. So before solving these questions, let us recall what IHD is. Uh, basically, IHD refers to the unsaturation in a molecule. And now this unsaturation may occur because of the double bond or a triple bond or a ring. If we have a one double bond, so it refers to one IHD. If we have one triple bond, it refers to two HD because in one double bond, we have one pi bond and two, and in one triple bond, we have two pi bonds. And if we have one cycle or one ring, we have one IHD. So these are the three basic things. And now uh, we have, if we have two double bonds, so we will simply say two IHD because of each double bond has one IHD, we will keep on adding. So any of uh, the, the three combinations may occur but the number remains uh, same for the double bond we have one IHD for triple bond we have two IHD for ring we have one IHD so now let us solve the first case if you look at this molecule uh, we do not find any double bond or triple bond or a ring so this molecule has zero IHD that is there is no index of hydrogen deficiency so this molecule is fully saturated However, if you look at the second molecule, we have a double bond between carbon and oxygen. We have also another double bond between carbon and carbon. So overall, we have two double bonds. So we have two IHD for this particular molecule, one because of this double bond, one because of this double bond. Now look at this third molecule. We have a triple bond as discussed, uh, two IHD because of this triple bond, one IHD because of this single bond. So two plus one makes the sum of three but remember this nitro has also a double bond between nitrogen and oxygen so we uh, we will add that that ihd also so overall we have the four ihds for this particular molecule now let's discuss the fourth case uh, here this ring has one ihd and this ring has another ihd so it has two ihd for these two rings, but we have three double bond also. So two plus three makes the sum of five and a triple bond. So it will be seven IHD because of these, but this C triple bond and because CN is C triple bond and so we will have to add two further IHD into seven. So overall this molecule has none nine IHDs. Now let's discuss the second and the last question for this assignment. Uh, it says for the following molecules state whether the mentioned pairs of molecules are chain isomers, positional isomers, functional group isomers, metamers, tautomers, ring isomers, ring chain isomers or non isomers. So we have been given with these 11 structures but we were asked uh, about any two random molecules uh, to know their connection. For instance, between A and G, it was asked uh, what is the connection from these uh, options of the isomers. So let's solve the first pair. If you look at this molecule, we have uh, the molecular formula of compound A to be C5H12O. You may count the number of carbons, one, two, three, four, and five, and number of hydrogens, three to five, seven, nine, and 12, and the oxygen, which is one. If you find the molecular formula of compound G, which is also C5H12O, so these two molecules are isomers to each other because they have the same molecular formula, but different structure formula. But which isomers they are, in fact, we have this oxygen connection with the ethyl and the propyl. Here, this oxygen is in connection with the methyl and the butyl. So this uh, relationship between the two molecules is the metamers 
because in the metamers we have a, a varied alkyl groups around the central hetero atom so this is uh, metam these two are metamers to each other now let's discuss the another pair p and j here if you find the molecular formula of b it says c6h12 you could count yourself number of carbons 1 2 3 4 5 6 and number of hydrogens 3 4 5 7 9 and 12 but if you count the molecular formula of j it is uh, Uh, not 12 hydrogen rather it is 14 hydrogen so we have different molecular formula of b and j so they are non isomers to each other that is they are different compounds however for compound b and d we have the same molecular formula you can check yourself uh, b is same for as this was in the second case for d we have six carbons and each carbon is connection is in the connection with the two hydrogens so it is c6h12 so they are isomers and this is a ring and this is chain so they are called ring chain isomers ring chain isomers are basically the isomers in which, in which one member is in ring form and other member is in chain form if you look at the compound c and e and they are the isomers to each other because their molecular formula match uh, c8 H nine and no, you can count yourself to verify. Here we have this ketone functionality, and here we have the aldehyde functionality. So we have different functional groups for the same molecular formula. So they are called the functional group isomers. Now let's discuss the fifth pair, D and I. So before finding uh, the type of isomers, let us convince ourselves that they are the isomers uh, by finding their molecular formula, which match C6H12 and again C6H12 for I. So yes, they are the isomers. Uh, both are in the ring form, but one is larger ring, one is the smaller ring. So they are called the ring isomers. For the compound E and F. again let us convince ourselves whether they are the isomers or not uh, by finding their molecular formula and yes e and f ha have the same molecular formula so they are the isomers to each other however if you look at uh, the position of this amino group which is here in the compound e but in now here in the compound f so they the two are the positional isomers the positional isomers are the isomers in which the position of the substituent is varied uh, and the rest are same the uh, position isomers are also called the regio isomers for the pair of h and j uh, let us find their molecular formula to convince to convince ourselves that they are the isomers and yes they are the isomers because they have the same molecular formula of c6h14 well this is a six carbon chain in the compound j but in compound h we have four carbon chain and two methyl groups attached so there is a, a difference in the length of the carbon chain so they are called the chain isomers now let's discuss the last pair f and k here again the f has the molecular formula of c Eight H nine N O and for K again we have the same molecular formula so they are the isomers to each other and here if you look at uh, this carbonyl here this called this of carbon is called the alpha carbon because it is directly connected to the carbonyl so this carbonyl carbon and the alpha carbon has the double bond in compound K and we have this O H bond so what happened uh, overall. overall we have the collapsing of this pi bond between these two carbons and shifting of this hydrogen because we have two hydrogens here in compound f but now in compound k we have only one hydrogen so where has this the second hydrogen gone the second hydrogen has been attached to this oxygen so one pi bond moves here and one hydrogen moves here so such relationship is called the tautomeric tautomeric relationship in which we have a difference of one pi bond and one hydrogen so the last pair is the the last pair is tautomeric in nature so that's all for this uh, uh, 
assignment three. I hope you enjoyed this assignment while, while solving. Thank you.